My name is Eric Caraba, Backwoods Contracting. I'm a sole proprietor. It's just me, uh, no employees at this point, and been in business for about four years. Although I have quite a bit of trail and natural resource management experience. And my primary focus is trails and trail infrastructure. We want to remove all of this duff and, and organic material. We don't really want it in the tread, so we're basically getting uh, the tread down to the mineral soil so that it's a good solid base and it won't go anywhere and it's basically the full bench of that material and if, if there's areas we have to dig it out and then we'll uh, borrow from the back slope and fill those holes where the organics at. Well I have a, just a three foot wide mini excavator, it's Kubota. It's a, just a one-ton class machine. This works pretty good for building a three-foot trail. I may improvise, put a four-foot yellow cedar blade on it so that I could just use the same machine to do the four-foot trail on top. So that's worked out pretty good. Well, this is the first job I've had to uh, have an archaeologist watch me dig. Uh, we didn't find any uh, artifacts or anything interesting. Generally, I uh, get to dig away and don't have a uh, person watching all day. Hand tools that we use, here's the McLeod or the fire rake. It's good for raking out the tread. We have a Pulaski for chopping roots and grubbing. I have a hazel hoe over there and that's, that's good for cutting the top of the back slope. And there's just a basic rake for raking stuff off and it's a lot of picking stuff up and scattering the debris off, off the trail and also putting drain dips in so we get the water off the tread. This is, this is a three foot uh, wide trail width on this loop and it's basically set on this nice, kind of ideal for trail building because it's a gentle slope. It's not too steep but it makes it easy to side cast off. Uh, the four foot loop on top, it's flat. so. That can just be more challenging if there's a lot of organic material to make, not make a trench and you have to fill that trench. Um, just trying to get the water off the trail. They say when you're building roads, they don't build roads anymore, they build drainage. And I think it's a lot of ways the same way when you look at a trail, you're, you're really thinking about drainage, how you're gonna get the water off the tread. Um, so it doesn't erode the tread out, but they don't want it ponding. 